morning everybody it is sunday june something hold on Headed out to the grocery store and got to drop off some donations and check on the P.O. box. So my dad sent me home with a few boxes of things my mother's been hoarding for no particular reason. And to be honest with you, he's overwhelmed going through things, which is why we're going up there to help him periodically and or he sends me home with stuff. I can't say to blame him. So anyway, um, I just got done sorting through it, tossed out the trash, pulled out some things I think that my two nieces who were raised by my parents um, probably want. And I have some stuff that could just be donated in the back of the car. It has bad mojo to be honest with you. And so that's gonna go away and the bad mojo term, that's my husband's term. When he's using that kind of term, that really tells you something. So <laughs> he doesn't use terms like that um, loosely. So anyway. Hey everybody, uh, good morning. Anyway, it's Monday morning, June 14th, I think. Um, I don't know what time it is. It's sometime around 9.30ish. Anyway, I've been sorting and going through a box of stuff that my dad sent me home with of my mom's. And mostly it's childhood memory stuff. And as per usual, what I've been doing um, through this whole process, I get sent home with boxes now and then. So um, what I do is I bring it home, I sort it by child, and then I mail it. If it's not too much stuff, I mail it to them. In this case, it's a box full of things. And it's my for my two nieces that live up this way. So um, I will, the next time I can get it to them, I will hang on to it until I can get it to them. In the box were a few things of mine, and evidently this was a school art project of mine. And I got an A on it. That's my maiden name. I'm not sure why I got an A on it, because I don't think I did a great job, but I have no idea how old I was. I vaguely remember making this, but I don't remember what grade. I really have no idea. <laughs> so I'm debating sanding it and doing something over the top of it, or, you know, it's possible I do inspiration take inspiration from it and do something, you know, similar composition, but with better skills. I don't know. What do you all think? Anyway, I've just shoved it in a corner of the art room for the moment. Um, I also found two copies of a Machine Knitters magazine I was published in a long time ago, back in, what's the date on this? 1998. So I have published articles in this magazine. I'm not sure why my mom's got two copies or had two copies, but she does. It is weird to go through your parents' things when they pass, of course, and kind of sad. I, I do think it's even weirder to go through them when they're still here, but not capable and you know they're not coming home. It's just, yeah, the whole process is strange. But we're doing what we need to, as my dad is comfortable to do it, um, to get the house um, in a place where he's comfortable living there um, with as many or little memories of her as he needs to have around. Um, and I just, you know, he calls and says, can you come help me with some stuff? And I, I, you know, I do. No questions asked. So, yeah, I don't know. That's kind of weird. Anyway, today I have to um, edit the vlog and... I've got to use up some paint. Um, and I'm going to think I'm going to do, again, I'm going to do some DIY stickers and chat with some friends, maybe. I'm just going to hang out at the house. It's raining outside. We will go walking later. I may do an extra walk. I'm not sure yet, but yeah, anyway. <sighs> Welcome to Monday. Oh, what time is it actually? Oh, I guessed right. It's 9.30. <laughs> That's just luck, pure luck. All right, I'll be morning, back. Morning, everybody. It is Tuesday morning, 9.45 a.m., June 15th. I am working on Facebook art group 
classroom Patreon stuff. <laughs> couple more mystery mediums that either clearly state they have toxic uh, materials in them or state they have something in it that's cancer causing but don't tell you what and their information on the website doesn't say either anyway I'm not going to call the company out but their current bottles say non-toxic but there's a warning about something in the bottle causing cancer uh, on the bottle I own known to the state of California to cause cancer so I don't know what that means. Anyway, it's going to go bye-bye. I also found an unused bottle of linseed oil. I don't need linseed oil. It's very flammable, and I never. it's a brand new bottle. I've never used it. I'm not exactly sure where it came from, if I bought it or somebody sent it in Happy Mail. I don't know. Anyway, it's going to go bye-bye. I'm not getting rid of all my art supplies that are toxic because, like, half the studio would disappear. And some things I'm very comfortable using, um, I take just take proper precautions. But some things just, if I'm not using it and I'm scared of it, it doesn't need to stay. Anyway, I found a person who's going to take said supplies on next door. And I am just waiting to hear when she's going to come by. And giving them away. I'm just giving them away. Wednesday, June 16th, I think. Yes, 9.25 a.m. That pounding and sound he heard in the shadow behind the patio doors 
is our friend and contractor, Ruben. He is putting in a new sliding glass door. It'll look very similar to what's already there and it'll look like the original French doors, but we will be able to slide it open and there'll be a screen door there eventually. <laughs> and so we can get some fresh air in the house um, when it's nice and warm out and the weather is good, which we can't really do with the French doors the way they are right now. And because of the way they were installed, there's no good way to put a screen in so that we can open the door. Like it's just a big giant thing. So anyway, it's easier to just put a new door, which we're gonna do. Um, so anyway, yeah, but the thing with the screen is that the doors were delivered, but there's no screen. So we're not sure if it was damaged in transit or it's sitting on the back of a truck somewhere or I don't know, but they're, they're looking for it. So anyway, at some point we'll have a screen. <laughs> Anyway, he's putting the door in right now and that'll be going on for the next couple of days. And in the meantime, I'll be up here in the art room working on projects and keep him busy and out of his way. <laughs> All right, that's it for the minute. I feel like it's a three cup of coffee day, but I really shouldn't do that. All right, I'll be back. What can I say about the door? Um, it's not even off yet. The contractor's off to the hardware store. Um, it's a good thing we're having it replaced because it was leaking. And while the doors themselves are in good shape, um, the frame around it's not. So he's gonna be fixing all the dampness and we'll be discussing replacing the other single door and window in the master bedroom because my guess is that other door might be leaking too. Fun times. All right, that's it for the minute. Okay, well, the dampness and water damage and dry rot does not go past the plywood sheathing, yay. And uh, the structural members and beams are all good, yay. Uh, Ruben's cleaning up right now, and he and his brother will be back tomorrow to install the new door. And then back on Friday, probably to finish the trimming and painting, so it's all good. All right, I'll so be got a couple of journal pages done. <laughs> That's all good too. I will be. think there's much water left from the rain. There's a little bit, but there's a duck. And she is hungry. Walking and we gave away four more painted rocks in the neighborhood. And I think we have three or four more at home on the table. So it's all good. A little bit of cheery good deed. I hope people like it and don't think it's too weird, but you know, I don't know. Anyway, we're going to head home now. I need some water. I need some water too. Yeah. And I need to look at the daughter's wedding pictures because she sent me the link like two days ago and I still haven't looked at it yet. This morning. Was it this morning or was it yesterday? I thought I got it yesterday. Yeah, it was, it was last night. See? I didn't, I didn't see it till this, this See? I saw it sometime yesterday and I got a call today and she's like, you still haven't looked at it, why? Bad mommy. Anyway, I'll be back. I'll do what I can to eliminate the background noise and turn the sound of that down for you. Yes, the door installation continues. Uh, and then this morning when I was taking a shower, or after I was done taking a shower, the um, on and off valve in the shower decided to not shut off all the way. So the cartridge inside is probably bad. And yeah, so it's not leaking at full bore, but it is dripping and it's not going to stop until we fix it. And of course, I can't get a hold of the plumber. <clears throat> Good morning, everybody. It is 9.18 or so a.m. Friday, June 18th. Um, started off the morning with an online phone chat and um, business conference type situation with Bea Grob and working out some things and also um, <laughs> typos, sorry. And also a little com uh, conversation with Mike Deacon and contractors here he's working to say i think i'm getting the other letter of confirmation in the snail mail today from california confirming that my old other 
legal documents for my old business in California um, is closed because we have some issue with California thinking I'm still doing business in the state, which I'm not. I don't live there. It's hard to do YouTube and arts and crafts in California when you live in Oregon. It's just saying. Anyway, I asked them to send me a letter of confirmation. It's like one department knows it's closed and I don't live there and I don't do business there and the other one doesn't know that. So I don't know what they're doing down there. Anyway, I took one of my cookie sheets I used to like dry stuff on that had lots of paint and stuff on the bottom. I covered it with gel medium, albeit a thin, thinner coat than it should have been. So when I pulled it up, it got wrinkly, but then I looked at it and went, huh, it's still interesting. So I glued the whole wrinkly mess with some more gel medium to a piece of cardstock. So it turned out like that. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but it's interesting. Um, I took all of Margaret Miller's sort of um, mixed media recipes and um, not just the ones for 2021, but her older ones. And I turned them all into recipe cards and made this little box. So I'm gonna work on some of those today. And I have one of my Brayer rollers soaking in some Murphy's oil soap because it was like gross and disgusting. So I'm hoping some of the stuff that's stuck to it comes off. And I have two books here that are on sketching and watercoloring that I want to work my way through. I'll, I, that's, there's not just two. Who am I kidding? I have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's like 10 on my desk. But I think some of them are magazines that I have to go through and pull stuff out of. So, all right, I'm going to get busy. I don't know I'll if I showed it on camera right now until I review the video to edit the vlog, but I was soaking my one of my brayers in this jar with some Murphy's oil soap overnight because it was disgusting and it was blue and textured. That's not how they come when you buy them at the store, FYI. Um, all of it came off. This is more like what you see, what they look like when they're new. Smooth beige red, uh, smooth beige rubber. So all came off. Soak it overnight in Murphy's oil soap and some water, half and half, and then um, let it soak at least a day, if not longer, and then just take a kitchen scrubby sponge to it and all of it should come off pretty easily. Anyway, yay, that worked. All right, on to the next thing. Um, I have this book called Pen and Ink um, by Walter Foster, and it's highlighting pen work techniques by one, two, three, four, five. It looks like five different artists with lessons. And um, anyway, this is the book. I'll put. I'll try to find a link on Amazon and put it down below. Um, I've decided to. I have a lot of art books I haven't like not cracked that I bought, and they're like accumulating downstairs. Anyway, time to go through them. And um, I am already one only one lesson in and enjoying. Um, learning about pen work and sketching and different pen techniques. Um, I am looking at each lesson and drawing something inspired by the lesson. Now, the first lesson was a face um, with different um, sort of hatching, shading techniques on the face. I opted to not do a face. I decided to do a still life of sorts. And so I did some lemons. So that's my first lesson. I'm going to use one of these... Um, mixed media paper journals that I made with canvas cover. I have some for sale in the Etsy shop. Anyway, um, I used also some pens that I've had in my stash for like a long time. I used some microns on this in brown. I use brown pens. I have microns and a Faber-Castell brush pen. And I used a Sorry, it's a Micron brush pen. Um, let's see. Does it say what color it is? It just says brown. It says BR. I'm assuming that means brown. Anyway, I used the brush pen and I used a 01. Yeah. So I used... I'm really having trouble today. I used these two. Brush pen and an 01 in the brown. Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday morning, 8.59 a.m., June 19th. 
Dad and Bob are downstairs looking at the Barracuda. I guess the fuel pump that came in is the wrong one. So they're trying to get the part number off the one that's in the car, figure out how to correct that. And I know there was a number of things besides the fuel pump that Bob wanted to do to the car. So I'm gonna assume they're gonna get done what they can. And then I think Bob's gonna have to order a new fuel pump. I don't think anybody local is gonna have it in stock, but we'll see, I don't know. Anyway, I'm upstairs doing a preliminary drawing for another um, page on my take on a lesson from Pen and Ink, A Creative Exploration of Time Treasure Drawing Techniques. The front of the book says Walter Foster, but the designers who um, collaborated for the book, I think Walter Foster might be the publisher, the collaborators for the book are... Ian Thomas Miller, Desiree Lee, Anne Ramos, Samuel Siv Silva, and Lou Jover. Jover? J-O-V-E-R? I hope I pronounced that right. Um, anyway, I'm working through their lessons in the book, and they um, are teaching different pen and ink techniques with um, or without watercolor paints. And I am not using the images that they have in the book. Not because there's anything wrong with them, but just because I want to do my own images using the techniques they're teaching. So that's what I'm doing. So the first one I did um, was lemons. And then the second one I did was this hand holding a heart-shaped rock. These are all, um, for the most part, taken from inspiration from daily drawing, uh, daily walk photos of mine. So. Anyway, I did the next drawing um, and I actually am gonna have to wait for some f uh, masking fluid to come in. I did order some, it'll be here tomorrow, but the drawing is done. Anyway, still kind of have a ate too much food headache from last night. And yeah, that's a thing. Um, so, you know, uh, what else? I'm just kind of puttering around today, taking it easy, resting and, resting and chilling. And uh, dad, I think, is going home tonight, but um, he and Bob are just fiddling with the car this morning. I'm not sure what else they're going to get up to, so we'll see. And that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Okay, let's see. Where are we going? Oh, sure. Straight ahead. Straight ahead. Forward. Oh, reverse. So since they don't have the right part for the Barracuda to fix and Bob is going to exchange the one for that he has for the right one, they're going to go drop that off to be mailed back because nobody has it in stock anywhere close by. Hello, broken supply chain. But anyway, they're going to go take care of that. They have to go to Harbor Freight. Bob needs, I guess, a couple tools for when the part does come in. And they're also, as you just saw, taking our old French doors over to the kids' house because the kids are going to reuse said doors at their house. So I'm going to let them, and I'm going to stay here. Yeah. I never do this in the middle of Costco, but oh my God, you guys, Costco samples are back. I wasn't even hungry, but I had to have one. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, so fun fact, I forgot to close the vlog last night, again. 
That just tells you how kind of busy slash stressed out slash completely insane like things are right now. Anyway, it was an interesting week. Again, very busy. Um, lots of stuff going on between um, the situation with my mom and us all prepping for her eventual passing, uh, which will be, according to the doctors, sooner rather than later. And aiding my dad, if only emotionally, through the death planning process, which he has started. And he has a meeting tomorrow. Um, and on top of that, construction, and then finding unexpected water damage, and delays, and it's just a lot. It's a lot. But we're making it through, and I am finding some... Um, interesting art things to get me through and I if you follow me on social media I have been um, doing a few lessons from a book called pen and ink I'm trying to get my printer to work and it's just not cooperating today anyway um holy cow it's just one of those days hang on anyway you're gonna hear noise in the background because my printer is like trying to print that I keep getting Wait a minute, hold on. Like this, it just does that and then stops. So if anybody has any ideas, it's an old HP NV. Um, I don't remember which model number, but anyway, it's just being completely uncooperative and temperamental. So let's hope it prints properly this time. Anyway, um, it's been an interesting week, it's been crazy, but we're making it through. And I was saying, I am really enjoying finally making my way through this book, Pen and Ink, which just highlights different drawing techniques um, with pen and ink with a little bit of watercolor. There's a bunch of different artists in here. Um, there are some lessons I'm probably not super interested in doing, um, where you do a lot with the stippling, where you're just creating images with just dots of ink. I am not that patient of a person, so I'm not sure if I'm going to do those or not. We'll see, but I am going to make my way through and read all the lessons and do the ones that inspire me. And then when I'm done with this one, then I'm going to be working through this one. And then, I, of course, I also have some Jean Haynes watercolor books to go through. So I'm making my way through that and focusing on art lessons and that sort of thing. And it is helping a lot. So I don't know what you do, but that's what I do. Also walking, a lot of walking. So anyway, I hope you've all had a good week, that you've made it through okay physically, mentally, and otherwise. Um, you know, it's all we can hope for, right? Anyway, have a great day. Have a great week. I will see you next week. Um, please um, stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Um, wear a mask if you need to and um, think about getting the vaccine. Uh, don't forget to check out the video description for any relevant links, including following me on Instagram and all of that stuff, supporting the free content. Like there's lots of ways to do that. There's lots of stuff in the video description, including a link tree list of links you can just go there. You get a bunch of different links for me and places to find me on the internet. So check it out. Um, like, share, and subscribe. Hit that little bell icon if you want notifications of new videos. I do have, here's a quick clip. <laughs> and it's more than one page. And I'm about to start page three. These are all notes of videos I want to do coming up. So Anyway, lots of content coming up and lots of adventures and life and vlogging and all of that stuff. I will bring you with me when I can. <sighs> Go out and have a great day, everybody. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. All right? I'll see you later. Bye, guys.